Terrified civilians flee the besieged old city of Homs. Trapped here for almost two years, they scramble across no man's land to the UN's waiting vehicles. They can go now only because the UN brokered a ceasefire here. It's fragile. Mortar bombs. Those waiting to leave scatter, bags left in the street. This is a rebel-held area. People here say this fire can only be coming from the regime side. The Syrian government denies it. One theory, though, is that if not the Syrian army, then pro-government militias were to blame. The UN brokered a truce to get aid in, as well as to allow people out. Mortars fell close to a Red Crescent convoy. Some trucks turned back. Only two made it in. They had just 250 food parcels for as many as 2,000 people. Aid workers found themselves trapped alongside the people they'd come to help. They took shelter for several hours as a barrage continued. One senior UN official called it a day in hell. But it was just a glimpse of what the civilians of Homs had to endure every day. The Syrian government and opposition are gathering in Geneva to resume their peace talks there. A ceasefire in Homs was supposed to have been a confidence-building measure as part of that process. But as so often in Syria, a ceasefire is something that exists in name only. Paul Wood, BBC News, Beirut.